Good original MGB sports cars are becoming more difficult to find, so many enthusiasts turn to restoring their classic by overhauling its main components and building them into a new body shell. British Motor Heritage are the only manufacturer of these body shells. Heritage shells and panels are produced with a tooling that was used in the original production of the MGB, Britain's favourite sports car, back in the 60s and 70s. Some years after the last MGB came off the production line at the Abingdon factory, the press dies and assembly jigs were tracked down in various stockyards and dye parks by David Bishop, who was then the MD of British Motor Heritage. By 1988, all the tooling had been located and the body shells came back into production. The British Motor Museum at Gaydon now houses the first MGB to be restored using a heritage shell. Heritage shells are supplied either ready primed or completely painted in a colour of your choice, ready to install all the running gear and interior trim from your old vehicle. Although each body shell really starts to be assembled here on the main production jig, it's a lot earlier in the process that metal pressings are married up to each other to make the sub-assemblies that finally come together to form the complete body shell. The main jig is by no means the end either. More welding has to be done and the bolted on parts added. The shell will then be sent off to be painted before delivery to the customer or going into stock. Starting at the beginning, we'll first look at how the front section comes together as one of the main sub-assemblies. These front chassis rails are designed to carry the weight and stresses of both the engine and the front suspension. Strong support tubes are MIG welded inside the rails. This is where the front suspension cross member will be attached in the finished vehicle. The top plate is placed into position and again MIG welded round the support tubes. Finally, the top plate is welded to the main rail using the big floor standing vertical spot welder. These chassis rails are now the starting point for the construction of a complete front end section of the body shell. The operator works around the assembly using a hanging gun. The term hanging refers to the way the heavy spot weld gun is supported and counterbalanced from above to make it manoeuvrable. Welding of this front section is completed on a turnover jig where access can be more easily gained to all areas. At this time a number of other sub-assemblies are also being prepared. Here is a rear body section in production and this is a rear wing being hand finished for a GT body shell. On the main jig, with the rear section in place, the front section is lowered into position to join it. These parts are firmly locked into the jig to ensure that the finished body shell will be absolutely true to the original MGB specifications. The castle rails that sit below the sills are put into place. front and rear sections, now being welded together, will start to take on the appearance of our MGB body shell. The inner sill panels are followed by the floor. The outer sill and A-post assembly is placed into position and held rigidly by the outer jig frames which ensure that the door apertures are true fore and aft and side to side. Last to be added to a roadster while it's on the main jig is the rear wings and decking assembly which is constructed on its own jig before fitting into the main body shell. A GT body shell is built on the same jig as a Roadster, but with extra outer frames added to define the screen and roof positions. Unlike the Roadster, each rear wing is put straight into position within this framework.
The roof goes on and is welded to the wing assemblies at the rear and the screen surround at the front. Body shells now come off the main jig to go on to the next stage in their production. Much of the MIG welding in an MGB body shell is completed on a turnover stand. The basic structure now needs the addition of the front shroud and outer A-post panels. As before, exact positioning is achieved by the use of a jig. Heritage MGB body shells are supplied complete with what are termed bolt-on parts. These are the front wings, doors, boot lid, bonnet and front valance. They are added here in the finishing bays after any irregularities in the shell's surfaces have been corrected. A tap is run through the weld nuts to ensure that the threads are clear before parts are bolted into place. It's worth mentioning that this is good practice when you start to build your finished MGB to clear paint from all the threads. The first to go on are the doors. Alignment and gaps are set to the original MG standards. The boot lid and bonnet are now added. After the two front wings are bolted into place, a final check of door alignments is made. Every completed body shell is carefully examined. The inspector will check that it's the correct specification for its particular model and for a number of aspects in the build quality. These include the completeness and integrity of the welds and the surface finish of the outer panels. The body shell is now ready to be sent off to be painted. On its return from paint, the body shell will either go into stock, be shipped to one of British Motor Heritage's approved specialists for their stocks, or delivered direct to a customer. British Motor Heritage manufacture 22 different body shells for the MGB, right hand drive for the UK and Australia and left hand drive for Europe and the United States. We're not able to build shells with the early pull handle doors because that specific tooling no longer exists and if you want a shell with a narrow transmission tunnel used from 1962 to 1967 then that tunnel must be recovered from an original vehicle as those Prestige 2 were never traced. A special variant incorporating mountings to take the MG RV8 suspension is made for both Rosa and GT models. If you would like the full British Motor Heritage Parts catalogue or this free booklet on body shell fitting, please contact Heritage Sales.